Hello my fellow up to no gooders, Anthony Hazelwood here, and I'm coming at you guys with another Minecraft thingy right here, but this is actually going to be a little bit different. It's going to be like more of a vlog. Uh, there's something that's been on my mind lately that I just wanted to kind of get out, so I figured I'll play a little bit of Minecraft on this new server that I'm playing on right now. Uh, it's not an open server or anything like that, but uh, we'll get into it. Uh, so basically I want to talk about some stuff that's been happening in Texas to a young individual named Justin Carter who made a terrible terrible Facebook uh, comment that got him into a little bit of uh, trouble uh, of course the comment was sarcastic uh, there you know the kids not gonna do what he said in the comment the comment that I believe was uh, Basically, what he was saying is that he's going to go shoot up a school and then eat the uh, the kids still uh, still beating hearts out or something to that effect. And then he follows that up with LOL, just kidding, or JK, uh, which we all know, uh, especially a lot of us gamers, that that just means, you know, hey, uh, I'm joking. You know what I mean? Like, that's the, I'm not I'm not really going to go out and, uh, you know, um, kill these kids. But I, I guess like some woman in Texas or in um in Canada she went out and like was like oh this guy's gonna kill somebody thinking that he was serious which you know anybody that has half a brain would know that that's not what's going on um that he was just you know trying to heighten what that person was saying or being funny or sarcastic and she ended up calling from Canada she ended up finding out where Justin lived and found out that there was a school right next to him or something and you're like uh, wow okay first and foremost geez and then, so this kid spends about six months in jail and i guess he just got bailed out by someone that was generous enough to the post bail for half a million dollars and, and like to that person you believe in freedom of speech you are an amazing person and i cannot stress to you how awesome you are and i, I whoever you are which i i believe it was anonymous i didn't really do any research on it uh you are a great great person and you should there needs to be a slow clap for you somewhere uh but here, here's my thing and here's my issue with all this stuff that's kind of going on with with justin first and foremost kid don't ever do that again don't be stupid okay now he's stupid i'll give you like a lot of people will agree on this there was a stupid comment and i guess his dad got on record saying that the kid really isn't you know he's only 19 right he's not he's not like he doesn't know what's going on in the world he doesn't keep up with current events you know and uh i figure if you have a facebook though you're gonna know about the the sandy hooks and all that stuff and the you know the columbine shootings and all these shooting the, and the colorado shootings with the uh at the batman uh movie and all that stuff so that stuff it, that's posted all over Facebook. I mean, I, I there's times when I can't even get on there when stuff happens like that where there's not a billion people saying, oh, my God, I can't believe what happened here. There. So either this kid's just really clueless or, uh, I, I, or you know, he just – yeah, he's clueless, right? I mean, there's no other way that I can really explain why he would do something or say something like that. And I feel like the comment was in bad taste. It really was. But at the same time, uh, Texas – what the fuck are you thinking? Are you kidding me? Let's use some good discernment here, guys. It, you know, like, my God, you guys are making yourselves look like a like an incompetent, uh, you know, <laughs> bunch of dumbasses. I'll be honest. I'm, I mean, nothing against Texas or anything because I'm sure there's smart people over there. Uh, but whoever is trying this case, what point are you proving here you're kicking someone when they're down like he, this kid didn't think that it didn't have any intention of doing this and you could tell by the way he set that comment up now if you go into his house and he's got ak-47s in his house and he's got like grenades and and rocket launchers then you know i might there might be cause for concern but in, i mean in texas if the you know uh, come on like this this kid is clearly clearly innocent right like well, not innocent. He's 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 guilty of being stupid, but <laughs> you know, other than that, I I can't honestly figure out what you're doing. This is almost as bad as when Tommy uh, Tommy Chong got arrested and uh, put in um, put in Taft or Corcoran Prison or whatever here in California, which is right right actually kind of next to me. Uh, come on, you knew the dude was smoking weed. You guys could have caught him at any point. So why are you putting him in prison for it? You could have done this a long, long time ago. This is just someone got a hair up their ass because something 
bad happen, you know what I mean? Because there was something, and, and okay, don't let me understate how tragic the Sandy Hooks uh, thing was. And I mean, to those kids and to the family that had to had have to live with that every day, I sincerely, I, I sincerely want to tell you guys, you are strong and I have the utmost respect for everybody that had to, had to live through that. But I mean, to what's going on with this situation, uh, we have freedom of speech in America, guys. And uh, if you guys don't think that this is um, something that needs to be addressed and something that isn't really scary because, you know, w- we had a, a revolution over this kind of behavior from our government, okay? Like, I don't want to understate that at all, you know? I, I really don't. And uh, th- there were revolutions for this kind of thing. And I'm not saying I'm going to revolu- uh, I'm not saying that I'm going to revolt, okay? Uh, U.S. government, that's not going to happen. I w- I, and I want to state that very, very, very clearly. Uh, I am not, I, am, I have no intentions of trying to start a revolution, okay? Uh, but, you know, we do have an amendment which our country which which you which is you guys now you know the people that are in charge what we fought for you know and uh i would like to keep that uh (laughs) if it's okay with you guys you know uh i I don't know uh if you guys don't think we need it i mean uh, i think there might be a couple people that have a problem with that especially this guy that paid five hundred thousand dollars to mr justin justin carter um but it, it's a it's a scary time. It really is. We should have basic rights to say something stupid like that and then at least get the benefit of the doubt if there's no... And now, okay, like, look, they walk into his house, and like I said, if there's AK-47s in there, bam, put that bastard in jail, lock him away, and throw away the key. But the, was there? I, I don't think so. He's been... In, and now I'm, I'm so glad to hear he's out. But, he, I mean, even spending... He should sue for the amount of time he spent in there uh, because, wow... Just wow. (laughs) The Texas government needs to be responsible for putting an innocent kid in prison, even if he is a stupid innocent kid. Uh, (laughs) You know, he he needs to. uh, But maybe this is good. Maybe this will teach some kids to think twice about saying stupid remarks like that because you just never know who's listening to you when you say stupid things. And it does make people responsible for what they're saying. So, I mean, maybe that's not such a bad deal, but at the same time, you know, do we really want to lose the right to be able to say what we want to say? It's kind of like hate crime. You know, there's always people going off about how, um, you know, I hate this race, I hate that race, whatever, you know, and uh, we're not throwing these people in jail, you know, and they're probably, in all honesty, more of a threat than this kid was, in all honesty, they were probably more of a threat than this kid was. People like that going off about all that. There's people on the internet talking about how they want to kill people. I mean, there's people all the time. And I really feel b- bad for people on, like, I don't know, uh, Call of Duty if this kid ends up actually getting convicted of this and spending 10 years in prison. Because, man, those forms are ridiculous. Those conversations are ridiculous. But, see, that's that's what's happening uh, We're losing uh, anonymity. I can't say that word, guys. Uh, We're losing our anonymousness. I'm just going to say that because it's easier. Thank you. Uh, We're losing our uh, our anonymity on the internet. You know, there's no more of we can just say whatever we want without repercussions. You know, and you know, you post something on Facebook, and this has happened before, where kids have said, "Oh, they plan something on Facebook," and the government's like, "Uh, -uh, you're not going to do that." And these kids end up going to jail, and it's a great way to preemptively stop stuff, but. We, you know, we got to be, it just feels like this world's getting stupider and stupider as we go. People are not catching, I, I made a video on my other channel, and it's called If Minecraft Are Real. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link that down below, along with a petition that you guys can sign to, you know, free free the kid, get the charges dropped, and all that stuff down there. I'll, I'll also link that petition, and, uh, and maybe a couple videos of people talking about it also, but, um, uh, uh, Sign the petition. Just sign the petition. Uh, I forgot what I was saying, but uh, sign the petition. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, as you can see, I made this really cool house. I'm glad that I got a chance to talk about this with you guys. But uh, really, this is something serious, and uh, it needs to be. We need to speak up as people because that's what we're supposed to do. Maybe revolution doesn't have to be, uh, you know, us 
pulling up arms against the government or anything like that. Maybe revolution comes from us telling our senators this is not okay. This is unacceptable behavior. There, is, there are policies that the police and the government have to work by for our protection. And maybe that's where it starts. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not uh, invested in this enough to get myself in trouble over it. But I, I am invested enough to make sure that I get the message out that this kid is being wronged. And uh, I really think that if, uh, you know, we can continue to get people to sign this position, which I have signed, uh, you know, maybe we can make a difference. And that's the great thing about this country is that we can say, hey, this isn't cool. Get this guy out of here. You know, and or get the get, you know uh, when someone makes a stupid comment on ESPN about black players, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, <laughs> you know, okay, now you're not on ESPN anymore, or whatever he was on. I, I can't remember, maybe Fox or whatever he was on. But you know, when you make stupid comments, you know, you gotta be ex uh, you gotta be responsible for your uh, comments and actions and what you said. But, you know, Rush Limbaugh was making racist uh, slurs and he didn't go to jail for it. He just got fired. So maybe uh, maybe we should give this kid a little bit of a break. Uh, but seriously, educate yourself, kid. That If you get out, educate yourself. Make sure you don't ever make that uh, mistake again. All right, guys. Uh, I guess I'll end it here. Thanks for listening to me. I know I was ranting and raving a little bit. But uh, U.S. government, before I end this, uh, please don't <laughs> come after me. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to incite uh people to you know help you guys get better help our country become better and uh you know make it a better place for us all to live uh i and like i said i don't want to start a revolution i just want to you know get this kid out of out of prison <laughs> all right guys or jail or whatever all right guys I'll, I'll see you guys next time as always i'm anthony hazelwood and you guys are all part of my up to no good community and i'll see you guys next time